Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. Um, as you know, the sats are fast approaching, so I'm going to do a couple of shorter videos just to help you along the way with your revision. The first one is one something from the arithmetic test, which people find very tricky, and that's long division. So let's master long division together in this short video. Um, first of all, I'll tell you that um, from last year's paper, 2023, you can see here that the arithmetic questions, 32 of those questions were calculations questions, of which were some of them division. So it's an important thing to know if we want to do well on our arithmetic test. First question then, this is taken from the 2023 paper. Um, there's usually about two long division questions on the arithmetic paper, but notice here that they are worth two marks. Um, so you also get a mark for your working out. So that's why it says here, show your method, show your working out here in the squared space, and then put your answer in the box there. So the key to solving long division questions is the preparation before we even start trying to work this out. And so we need to do something called jottings. Now the jottings, um, because we don't know our 26 times tables, or most of us don't, off the top of our head, we want to make a note of what they are, and that will help us solve this question. So 26 times 1, that's fairly straightforward, 26. 26 times 2, you can just double 26. So double 20 is 40, double 6 is 12, making 52. Then it gets a little bit more tricky. You can either add 26 to this. So 50 add 20 is 70. And then 2 add 6 is 8. So 78 is 3 times 26. And you can also do additional jottings here. So if I wanted to do 26 times 4, I could do a quick jotting like this. 6 fours are 24, 4 down, carry the 2. 2 fours are 8, and 2 is 9, 10. So that's 104. So that means that 4 times 26 is 104. 5 times will always end in a 0 or 5. Um, so 26 times 5, you could do 20 times 5, which is 100, and then 5 times 6, which is 30, giving us 130. Again, you can always work them out like this if that's what you feel most comfortable doing. Then we add 26 to that, which makes 156. And then finally, I normally go to about seven times because that's usually the amount you need um, in order to solve the question. So 26 added to this will be one, two added to five is seven, and then six add six is 12. So that would actually be one, eight, two. So we have our jottings there. Now we can go ahead and try to solve this. So first of all, we say 26. How many times does 26 go into 4? Well, we can't do that. So we're going to do a little line here. How many times does 26 go into 44? Well, if I look on my jottings, um, it doesn't go in twice because that's too big. So it's only going to go in once. So I'm going to put a 0 here because it doesn't go into 4. It's going in once, and I'm going to put the 26 here underneath. Okay, because it's gone into 44 once, but we want to know what's left over. So we subtract 4, take away 6, we can't do, so we're going to borrow. That becomes 3. Four, uh, that becomes 14. 14 take away 6 is going to be 8. And then 3 take away 2 is going to be 1. Now we're left with 18. What we need to do now is to bring the 7 down. Bring the 7 down gives us 187. So how many times does 26 go into 187? Well, if we go down, yep, 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 yep. It actually goes in seven times. Um, so we're going to put a seven here. And we're going to write 182 underneath, as we did before. So 182. And we're going to take that away again. So seven take away two is five. Eight take away zero is zero. And one take away one is zero. So we're left with five. But the last step then is to bring the final number down. So the two, draw a little arrow, bring the two all the way down and look at that. How many times is 26 going to 52? It goes in twice. And what I really like about most of the long division questions on the arithmetic paper is that they have no remainders. Um, most of them, I say that because I think there was one question last year which did have a remainder, but most questions you know, you could almost say all questions have zero remainders when you're doing your long division. So this works out really nicely. The final answer then being 172, making sure we remember to write that in the box provided. For the next one, I've just saved some time by writing out the jottings, but you would go through the same process. 
you know, finding out what the 21 times table is. And again, I've gone down to seven. So let's go through the same process again here. 21 into six, you can't do. So we do 21 into 67. It goes in once, twice, three times. So we put the six and the three here. So then we do a subtraction. Seven take away three is four. Six take away six is zero, leaving four. And we bring the two down. So that goes next, the four. Nice. Oh, I've forgotten something, actually. It didn't go into six, so I put the zero there. How many times did it go into 67? It went in three times, so I put the three there. Now I go and try bring the two down. So I'm now left with how many times is 21 going to 42? Nice and easy. It goes in twice, giving us a final answer. Let me just make sure there's nothing left by putting the 42 there. Zero, zero. So nothing left, which means that the answer is 32. Once again, a right answer with no remainders here for this question. So the steps involved then are when you get to a long division question, don't panic. Start writing out your jottings. It is going to take you a little bit of time, but if you do your jottings correct, you'll get the rest of the question right. Then how many times does this number go into here? It doesn't. So it's going to be you know, looking at the next two numbers. Then you put it underneath, you subtract whatever's left over okay you then bring the next number down um, don't forget to write how many times it went in up here and then have a look again at your jottings how many times it go in goes in th uh, once and sorry twice and then we put that here so there's a few steps involved but hopefully through this video you've found a, we a method that's going to work for you so if you want to pause the video here i've just left some questions on the board for you these are a uh, some trickier ones, um, some easier ones, but use the same method to solve these. So pause the video here, have a go at these questions. And finally, there are your answers. So you can check to see if you have got them correct. Thanks for watching this short video. Please subscribe to the channel for more videos to help you with your upcoming SATs. You'll find full walkthroughs of all the papers on our channel. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.